So our first skill at level one is how to create a new document here in Illustrator. So I'm going to go to File, New, and I get a great deal of options uh, for setting up my new document. Um, so when I'm setting up a new document, I'm thinking about paper, because most Illustrator drawings we do, at least in our class, end up printed on paper. So we start with a name. I'm just going to call this one Practice. Profile, you'll see that there are other ways to deliver uh, documents made in Illustrator, all listed here, but we mostly deal with print. So I don't change anything with the profile. Under Artboards, that's how many pieces of paper we're working at one time. You'll see documents from me with as many as four different artboards frequently, uh, but for right now, let's just leave that at one. The spacing tells me how close or how far apart those pieces of paper would be. Size gives me different options for pre-made paper sizes. So our common sizes in the United States are letter, legal, and tabloid. Letter size 8.5 by 11 is our most common. You'll notice we also use A4 size paper uh, when we're doing some of our marker paper in class as well. But we're going to leave this at letter sized. And the, uh, the width and the height you'll see come up as 8.5 by 11. If it's not 8.5 by 11, your document might be in points by default. So we want to change our units most of the time to inches so the document is in a size that we recognize. Orientation allows me to choose between a portrait orientation or a document paper that's going up and down or landscape orientation going side to side. The bleed will learn about it another time. Underneath advanced we're going to change our color mode. Usually when documents are intended for print they're in CMYK which stands for cyan, magenta, yellow, and black um, when they're going to be printed. However, things in our room look better when they are displayed in RGB on our screens and we calibrate our printer to look as best as possible instead of calibrating our screens. So always set it at RGB. The little triangle here gives us a little bit of a warning between the document profile and, uh, and some other information. We can ignore that triangle for our needs here today. And then we're going to go ahead and click OK. And here we have our piece of paper here in Illustrator. You'll notice there's a little tab showing us that, that we have that piece of paper. The zoom level is on the tab, 119%. We also see that it is in RGB, red, green, blue here, and it's in preview mode. There are some other modes that we'll begin to explore as we learn Illustrator as well. If I open up two pieces of paper, call this one Paper 2, you'll notice that I get another tab and I'm able to switch back and forth from those tabs. So let's put a square or a rectangle on that tab, go over here, put a circle on this tab or an ellipse on this tab. And as I switch back and forth, you can see that those are two different documents with tabs across the top, much like you might see in a web browser.